I'm Simon Close, a fifth generation farmer from Harrow in the heart of the Western District. We've got stud cattle and commercial cattle. Um, our stud cattle is a mixture of red Angus, Angus and composite cows. And our commercial enterprise is all Angus cows, all side to a Wagyu bull. As a business, we like to do best practice in everything we do, whether it's fertiliser or animal health programs. Our main market for our bulls is Northern Territory and Queensland in Northern Australia. We did have a little bit of problem with pesty virus a few years ago at our southern block. We had a tail in our weaners, some temporary infertility in our first carvers and heifers, and just some animals that didn't do through the winter. We got tests and from the vet's advice, we've been vaccinating ever since that day. Infertility in our animals is a really big cost to us. Our seed stock herd, we put a lot of genetics and a lot of cost into our genetics through semen and AI and ET and things like that. And for them to be infertile or lose a calf, that costs us a lot. And in our commercial herd, getting a F1 Wagyu calf not on the ground, that costs us a lot. To get heifers pregnant and first calves back in calf, you need to eliminate all possible ways for them not to get pregnant. And PestiGuard is just one tool we can use to make sure we leave no stone unturned with getting our heifers back in calf and eliminating the tail out of our wieners. PestiGuard is an easy application. We give it to all our wieners, our F1s, our stud bulls and our heifers at weaning time and at four weeks after weaning. And our stud heifers get it before the bull goes out. A lot of people don't use best practice. They try to cut corners, their coughs and so forth, but in the end, it's gonna cost you a lot more with that tail in your heifers and the lack of fertility in your first carvers. The best way to fulfill our genetic potential is by using best practice with all our animal health and a tool that we can use is vaccinate against pesky virus. If businesses want to adopt best practice with their animal health, they should definitely vaccinate with pesky garbage.